Alright guys, so in this video we're going to look at uh, algebra basics uh, for substitution. So how this works then guys, um, what substitution is about is basically substituting in values into an equation which looks a little bit like that. That's all substitution actually means, it's just taking information which it gives you in the question and putting it into a formula which is already provided. So first of all let's have a look at this first question here. So it says work, work out uh, the amount of medicine C in milliliters to give uh, to a child by using the following formula. So we've got over here, we've got C equals MA. Now, now that is M times A divided by 150. Now it says that M is the age of a child in months and A is an adult dose in milliliters. So it says that a child is 30 months old, so that's important because we're going to need to use that information. And then it says an adult's dose is 40 milliliters. Work out the amount of medicine you can give to a child. So C is the amount of medicine, that's the thing that we're interested in, that's already been made the subject in this equation. So what we need to do, we need to apply the very thing uh, that this lesson is about, substitution. And what that means, we're replacing our M in this case, for um, how many months old the child is. So our M, in this case, we can replace M, we can substitute that for 30. The reason it's 30 is because it tells us over here that the child is 30 months old. Next, we've got A, which is the adult's dose. Well, it says that the adult's dose is 40 milliliters, so we can take our 40 milliliters and we can put that into here. And now we've actually got all the information that we need now to work out the amount of medicine which is actually required. So let's put these numbers in and work this out. So we've got C equals 30 times 40 divided by 150. Now, since we're not allowed to use a calculator, we need to try and work this out uh, without a calculator. So we know 3 times 4 is 12 and then we've got two zeros there so we can add two zeros on the end we've got 1200 divided by 150. And now we can actually see that the zeros actually cancel out like this leaving you with 120 over 15. Now 120 over 15 is 120 divided by 15 so what we need to do we need to use bus stop now so let's let's uh, take some of our previous techniques, to, which hopefully we've known for quite some time, and try to divide 15 into 120. So we can see that 15 doesn't go into 1, doesn't go into 12, so we pretty much back to where we started. So we, uh, what we should do now is just write out the multiples. So we've got 15, 30, 45, 60, um, 75, 90, 105, 120, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So C, therefore, is equal to 8, but we have to remember to put the right units as well. Well, it says here that C is actually in milliliters, so we can make sure we put the correct units. So we've got 8 milliliters. It's very important, guys, that you put the units in as well at the end. If, in an exam situation, those units are not already there on the dotted line, it's good practice to write the units out every single time okay so let's move on to the next uh, question so we've got another formula now uh, this time we can use a calculator uh, it says f equals 3g plus 7h so what that means that means that f equals 3 times g plus 7 times h Okay, 3g is shorthand for 3 times g, 7h is shorthand for 7 times h. And now all we need to do, we need to just, all we've got to do next is put in these values. So our g, which was minus 5, we can substitute g for minus 5 over here. Our h equals 2, so we can substitute h for 2 over here. So what we've actually, what we're actually left with is the following. We've got f equals 3 times minus 5 plus... 7 times 2. And now what we can see, we can see what well, 7 times minus 5 is minus 15. 7 times 2 
is 14. So we, so we want to work out minus 15 plus 14, which is equal to minus 1. So actually, uh, no calculator was actually required, but if you needed to use it, uh, that's how you know that you can. Let's this time, let's uh, use another uh, approach this time. This time we will, we, this time we can use a calculator and we will need a calculator just since we're using, uh, we're using decimals in this uh, problem. So we've got W equals 5.6A divided by B squared. Well, we can rewrite W to make it a little bit easier to understand. That's the same as 5.6 times A divided by b squared, which is simply b times b. And now what we can do, we can substitute in these values here. So w is equal to 5.6 times a, which is 1.28, divided by b squared, which is 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. So now we've uh, we've got the calculator out. Uh, we can actually work uh, this out. So. To work out W, first we can work out 5.6 times 1.28. So we can work the top out first, and then we can divide our answer by uh, 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. And then we just want to remember to put brackets in here as well, uh, just so uh, just to stay on the safe side. And our final answer is 11.2. And since no units are given for anything in the question, uh, that will actually be our final answer. In the next video, we're going to talk about proof and uh, reasoning. So I shall see you in the next section.